The squad of Danan scouts sat inside their tent for the night, telling stories and fables alike. They had been deployed that day to investigate some movement picked up on orbital sensors. They knew it was a small group, likely an expeditionary force on the planet, but it was unconfirmed what species. The scouts' assignment was to find this group and report what it was they were potentially fighting on this world. Eventually, the discussion turned to what would happen if it was a hostile species. I'm telling you, the worst are Harinu. They see us, they'll just get us from orbit, instant. Horse oh, shit, we haven't seen anything in our orbit. Besides, the worst are the Kanans. You know what they do if they get prisoners. We'll be on their dinner tables, man. Alive. The worst to lose to, maybe. Not the worst to fight. This one was the most experienced of the group, a veteran of a previous war. The worst to fight are the humans. Have you ever fought them? Around the room, the rest gradually shook their feathered heads, now paying attention to the most respected warrior in the room. The humans, when fighting, are like animals. Worse than animals. They do not follow rules. They do not care for their wounds or ours. Their ideas are simple. The others will die. Whatever that means. When wounded, they do not even stop more often than not. Their bodies are designed to be able to ignore injuries and pain in ways that no other species can do. Nothing short of taking off limbs or turning their organs to pace will stop one fast. Even then, if you don't hit the brain, they'll still come for you until they're dead. The tent became loud, fast, with shouting about how it was clearly impossible. He was making things up, exaggerating. Eventually, things quietened down at the behest of the extended lower hands of the veteran. If you don't believe me, I'll tell you what happened last time I fought the humans. I was part of a scout group, like this one, on Beta Ruxalis. We knew the humans were on the world, and a group of human scouts had us cut off and on the run. We thought we'd be fine. We can run faster than them on foot, and we were in the forest, where we're at our best. We were also wrong. Dead wrong. For the first day, we had them outpaced easily. Like I said, we're faster. We figured we'd lose them, and they'd give up after the first day. We thought we did that night. We hadn't seen a sign of them in the last couple of hours, and we'd make camp. Outside, not like this, but still, we needed rest quite badly after that day. It turned out the humans were very good at tracking things they couldn't see or hear. Very, very good. We were awoken after maybe three hours of sleep by gunfire in our direction. We fled as quickly as we could, but one of us was cut down by their ballistic rifles. We ran until we were forced to slow from our own exhaustion, knowing this time the humans would be able to follow us. For three days, we tried to make our way back to our territory, and for three days they followed us constantly. We were tired, hungry, and they stayed just close enough to force us to keep moving. I'm sure now that they could have killed us any time they wanted, but they chose not to. Maybe to be safe, maybe they just enjoyed watching us die. I am not sure if they slept more than we did in that time, but they did not tire. Humans do not tire, not, not like we do. They may be a little grumpy without sleep, if you meet a civilian, but their soldiers followed us at our pace for three days, picking off anyone who got slower than the rest of the group. They do not tire, and they need so little food. At the speed we were moving, they couldn't have had enough food for that time, and they couldn't have had much time to forage. They just keep going. They're more like machines than creatures. I was the only one to make it home. Of our group of six, three were killed by the human weapons, and two died from starvation and exhaustion. I survived. I don't know how. A miracle, or just been a little tougher. But I know one thing. I never want to see human soldiers again.